The 3018 Mini CNC router is a DIY kit made for hobby use and for working on small projects. Included in the kit is the aluminium extrusions for the frame, guide rods and lead screws, corner brackets and assembly hardware. The x-axis assembly, two stepper motors, a power supply, USB cable, wiring and the main control board. Some of the parts in the kit are 3D printed. This includes the mount which holds the motor and x-axis bearings, a few other small bearing mounts and the frame braces. For the assembly, there is a basic instruction manual included. This has the bare essentials for the build and further instructions along with the software to control the machine can be found online. The build process begins with assembling the aluminium extrusions together with the corner brackets using the included hardware. Then installing the 3D printed braces to make up the frame. Before installing the lead screws and stepper motors, it's good to check everything is square and the axis are moving smoothly. This will ensure the machine is correctly assembled and minimise the troubleshooting. The provided collet is used to hold the tool in place. This is installed onto the motor spindle and secured with two screws. There are two engraving V-shaped bits that are included with the kit. It is also worth purchasing a set of flat end mills for basic milling applications. The next step of the assembly is to install the main control board which is bolted onto the back of the frame. We can now plug in all the wiring for the stepper motors, connect the spindle motor and plug in the USB and power cables. From the top view we can see the machine moves on the X and Y axis. This has a work area of 340 by 160 mm. From the front the Z axis allows 40 mm of work height. The CNC router is connected to a PC and controlled with the Gerbil software. The software needs to be installed to operate the machine. Once the software is set up, we can control various functions of the machine. Use the arrows to move the tool along the axis, turn the spindle on and off and send the G-code to the machine. For the first test, a black painted MDF board is attached to the CNC tabletop using four T-slot bolts in the corners. Next we can open the sample G-code test file in the Gerbil software. Before beginning the machining, we need to manually home and set the zero point for the X, Y and Z axis on the workpiece. In the software, we can see the toolpath for the machining. We can check this by selecting the check mode box and then clicking on send. This will allow us to check the toolpath before starting the job on the machine. To begin the machining, we will need to turn on the spindle first, then click on send to start the machining. The first cut of the provided G-code is the test text file. This is a very small engraving measuring 4 by 10 millimetres. There is a small loss of the fine detail in the letters and this is due to the run out of the spindle causing a small inaccuracy of the machining. The next test is using a web based software called Easel to create a larger text logo. In Easel we can create a simple design, set up the toolpath and create the G-code. It has a user friendly interface and a great place to start for beginners. The G-code is exported from Easel then is opened in the Gerbil software and sent to the machine. It is carved into the MDF board at a 2mm depth using the V-bit tool, with each pass at 0.5mm. The finished carving turned out well, with nice defined edges around the letters. A front cover to suit a 3D printed case from an earlier RevLite project is modelled in Fusion 360. From the design we can set up the manufacturing workspace and set up and create the toolpath. The 3mm sheet of perspex to be milled is held onto the wasteboard with double sided tape. This is then secured in the corners with two bolts. The perspex is milled with a 3mm flat end mill at a 0.5mm pass. Once complete, the bolts are removed and the part is lifted off the double sided tape. The depth of the final pass could have been set slightly deeper as there was a little bit of plastic left on one side to clean up. 
For the first attempt with Perspex on this machine, the part cut out well and fitted onto the 3D printed case as designed. The final test was some engraving on aluminium using the V-bit tool. This is set to engrave at a total depth of 0.3mm with a 0.1mm depth on each pass. The aluminium is held down with double sided tape which is attached directly to the waste board. It was the slow process which finally produced a good result. From the test this CNC router kit is best suited for small projects and working with softer materials like wood and plastic. Overall a great learning experience and a good DIY kit. It is capable of light duties for small projects and is a low cost entry for a beginner or hobbyist looking to learn some basics of CNC machining.